The Chaosolator. RCA, volume up, put to batteries, and turn it on. And it turns on. Ah, whew. RCA cable, RCA adapters to quarter inch, put those on, plug it in, one and two, open up logic. Yeah, da, da, de, 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 de. And we want to have two tracks. Number two, choose. Okay. Now, track number one, we got to make sure it's plugged, it's uh, directing to the correct input, which is going to be B1 and B2. For me, it's going to be different for you. I don't know. Ya cha cha. Now we're going to open up console. And then we're going to take our B. We're going to turn it from mic to line. Turn our inputs to line. Turn the volume up. Watch your ears. It's going to come. Chaosolator. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> The drums, the drums, so many drums. Patterns. Okay, now we're going to record enable our tracks that we set up. And we're going to trim these tracks. Make sure we get them on the downbeat. We're going to expand by pressing command right arrow and command down arrow. So we can expand. Our, whoops, got that one wrong. We got to select both of them. And then we got to get right in up there on that first beat. Make sure right up on the edge of that waveform. Okay, now let's bring back to number one. Now the chaos later is already at 120. And look, we're, we're pretty close. Okay. Um, chaos later is already at 120, and so is this project. But we are going to try, just to make sure, we're going to put on metering and the BPM counter. And we're going to press play, and we're going to get our BPM for these audio tracks. And Logic is recognizing them as 120, so we're good to go. We're going to record some more. Nice bass sound from the Chaos Elator. I've done a little moving around here and just getting some levels a little bit. And that's it. This is our little video.